Do you find it difficult sometimes to come up with a storyline for your content that keeps your viewers engaged throughout the entire video? Are you losing viewers in the first 30 seconds, 20, or even 10 seconds? Well, the wonderful people over at Google have been doing some research into the different types of ads that people will actually stick around and watch. They found that the ads that work specifically on YouTube have a few things in common. So today I wanted to show you how Google's study of ads could help you make videos that people actually stick around and watch. Because if Google has figured out what gets people to not click skip ad, I'm sure the methods and the tactics that they use could help you in your regular video content. Do you want me to just skip ahead to the big secret? Well, it's as easy as A, B, C, D. No. No, really, that's actually what it's called. There's a whole playbook on it that Google made called ABCD, called ABCD, your step-by-step -step guide to effective creative on YouTube. Now, there's a lot of marketing speak in here, so let's break it down. The A stands for attention. B is for branding, C is for connection, and D stands for direction. These standards are for marketers who are creating ads, but there is no reason why content creators can't take these and kind of tweak them a little bit for their video content, and I'll show you how. Let's start at the top. You have one goal every time you post a new video, and that is to get people to watch, at the very least, the first eight seconds of your video. You need this eight seconds to grab the attention of the viewer. Hello, it's been a while. I know I'm not gone. I have just been extremely busy. Your intro just needs to really push someone to keep watching, and this is what we call a hook. So how do you create a good hook? Well, there's a number of ways. You could be relatable. Pick at your audience's pain points. Open up with a fascinating fact, or ask a question. Whatever you do, raise the curiosity at the beginning of the video and make sure that somewhere in the actual video you deliver on that curiosity. You're basically giving them confirmation after they've clicked on your video in the first few seconds that they are indeed in the right place and they're going to get the value they seek from your content. I'll post a card right now. We actually talk about this in much greater detail and I encourage you to go watch that video after you're done with this one. Now that you've caught your viewers' attention, it's time to brand the video. A company would use this opportunity to show off the branding in the ad, but you as a creator are gonna do this to demonstrate what your channel is all about. You know how some people's brands, when you see their ads, feel kind of sketchy and untrustworthy? Well, this is your opportunity to make sure that you don't come across that way. Your goal here is to just build trust with your audience so they decide to continue watching your video, and not only that, hopefully subscribe. An example of this, by the way, would be, let's say you're a doctor giving medical advice in a video. You might want to lead with that at some point so people know that you have the credibility to be speaking with expertise on the topics you're covering in this video. It also helps here to think of YouTube as a multi-sensory experience for your viewer. Other than the value of the content itself, it's important to keep working on and focusing on things like top quality visuals. Improving your editing style is important, and of course, 95% of all videos on YouTube are played with the sound on, so you want to make sure that your audio quality is good and what you're saying actually makes sense, is coherent, and is overall helping the retention of that video. So what's next? Well, now that the viewers are reeled into the content, it's time to build a connection. Your short-term goal here is to get them to watch the video as long as possible. Your long-term goal is to get them to watch more and more videos and ideally subscribe and continue coming back for more. To do this, you wanna connect with your viewers as individuals and find ways that you can relate to them. Let them know that you understand their problem. You too have been through this and good news for them, you have a solution that just might help. You wanna be upfront, helpful, and credible. But also you wanna connect with your audience on a human level. Do things with your content that incorporates storytelling elements. Add some humor if you need to. Maybe throw in some surprises in your videos along the way. At the end of the day, we all like to have some sort of connection to the people that we're watching on YouTube. So you've caught their attention, you've connected with them, and now you're done, you're good to go, right? Wrong. The next thing you need to do is give some direction. It's very important to do this to help your viewers understand what they need to do next. What I'm talking about specifically is that next step in getting them to become part of your community. A lot of people ask us, should you be asking viewers to subscribe or hit the like button or leave a comment? And the answer to all of those questions would be, yeah. I wouldn't overdo it, but in every video, you should ask something of them because it's likely that people who enjoyed the content are willing to engage in that way simply by being reminded to do so. Something you'll see us do here at vidIQ a lot is use this opportunity to direct people to another video using an end screen. We like doing this because it creates kind of a binge session. People watch multiple videos at one time and you don't really need to ask them to subscribe at that point because they're probably pretty invested after they've watched their second or third video. Our goal here is to get them to stay on the channel so we show them more videos similar to the one they've just watched and hopefully they'll enjoy. 
Highlighting where you want your viewers to go next is super important when you're trying to get more subscribers and more views. Just to prove my point, why don't you go to this video next? It'll help you understand a key metric that's going to tell you exactly where your viewers are spending the most time on your channel.